Uh, so I just wanted to uh, just talk about your reaction uh, to the uh, trade yesterday because you had talked about during uh, during media day that you were looking after the uh, the rookies and Stephanie Watts being one of them and being a guard and whatnot. I just wanted to kind of get your reaction on the trade. Oh man, it's a business. You know, things happen every day. You know, I, I don't know what you know fish is thinking. Um, that's not my part of the job. My my part of the job is to play basketball. But you know. Um, I know Steph will do well. Um, we, we actually getting a great pick. Gabby is who she is. You know, she can play the one to the four. You know, we're happy to have her, although she's not playing this season, but we happy to have her on the team. John W. Davis. When we all know what the final roster is, what's going to be your message to the 11 other players that you're going to be playing with this season? Oh, we here to work. You know, we got goals, you know, within the team. And, you know, let's do our job. Let's, let's accomplish our goals. It's a long season. <laughs> like Fish said earlier today, the food not going to be ready on Friday. We're stirring up a pot, we putting ingredients in, we're taking ingredients out. So, you know, we just got to keep pushing and keep building, you know, and just staying together. Hugh Hopkins. Hi, Erica. Thanks for taking time to talk to us today. Um, I've heard from a, a few players and coaches going into this season that the league has great momentum at the moment. I was wondering, what, what do you think needs to happen in the next few years to continue building on that momentum? And, and how would you like to see the WNBA grow? I think we're moving in the right direction. You know, right now, um, even with the CBA, us having more money, um, the WNBA backing us up with the whole Black Lives Matter team. I think that just, you know, as we keep growing to next year to even, you know, year 26, just, you know, keep more television, put us put us on TV more. You know, we saw the ratings when we were in the ACAA, we saw the ratings when we were in the bubble. I think that's the most important part. Let the world keep seeing us. Brady Klopper, SB Nation. Hey, Erica. Hey. Um, I'm wondering after after the game over the weekend, you know, obviously when you sign with LA, you're probably looking forward to playing in Staples Center and, and all that. But, you know, with it being a weird year and kind of the makeshift court at the convention center, uh, what did you feel of the court, of the vibe, the whole black drop situation? What were your thoughts on that? We're basketball players. We can play outside and, it, you know, we do what we love to do. You know, of course, I love playing in Staples Center, but we still live in the dream. We still playing the game that we love. And we still, the, the court in the convention center is still amazing. So for me, I had no real feelings about it. I was just happy to play against another team. A couple more here, we'll go to Sylvia Guevara. Hi, Erica, how are you? How you doing? Good, good. Um, you have two games under your belt right now, preseason with the new team. What's something that you can learn throughout these two games that you could improve on? Um, passing the ball, you know, I, um, just over the years, I've been the playmaker, scorer, and a point guard at the same time. So just getting used to, you know, making the quick decisions, knowing that I have a post player that's open that can score, knowing that the shooter is over there wide open by herself versus being so into myself. So just not being so indecisive, just making quick reads, whatever the defense give me, just play off that. Time for two more and, and just a quick shout out to Sparks. We're excited to announce our new broadcast team today. Um, Rashawn Haylock and Ross Golden Wude. So we'll fittingly work them in right now for our last two questions. Start with Rashawn. Hey, Erica. How you doing, man? Doing all right. Um, can you just ex expand on that a little bit? Um, I mean, you guys showcased a lot of versatility. There were, there were different players out there facilitating on, on Saturday. Um, just, you know, how you balance that going back and forth from being a facilitator versus, um, you know, looking to get yours? Um, I think that it's amazing to have, you know, other wings that can bring the ball up. I'm not just constantly dribbling because that's what I'm used to. Even when I'm overseas, I'm constantly dribbling, have to make every play. Here, I'm going to have to do that. So for me, being able to get the ball, dribble one time and kick it up or come off a pick and roll is either my shot or hit the post or hit the wing is refreshing, but also I'm still in between. But I'll be ready by Friday, I'll tell you that. And last for Erica, we'll go over to Roz. Hey, Erica, super excited to be on the call for your games this season. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I want. I mean, everything you're saying right now is um, really interesting about kind of knowing, you know, which role, which hat you're wearing in that moment. Coming into this season, I'm curious about like, what did you work on? What aspects did you work into your game for this season? Just slowing down, like really just slowing down and seeing the game differently. You know, slowing the game down in my head because I'm super fast. I use my speed for everything. One quick move, I'll just go. Being able to just change the pace and slow myself down because I can pass and I can shoot. So just being able to slow down, just change the pace. I did, and I hated it, <laughs> but it's also helping my game so I can see the next option. I can see the second and the third defender. So it's really helping my, my game just to change the pace. 